Blessings to the whole free let throughout the four corners of the earth. I am the brother Yermayan coming at y'all another one. Before we get started, we can give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles at Great Millstone who taught us his truth through the Holy Spirit. All right. Peace and blessings to the Bayaf Shai Dawada that's standing on the uh, four corners of the earth, standing so stiffly for the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai in these last days. Shalom. And peace and blessings to you. Uh, the small amount of sisters, you true believers that really believe, okay? Um, shallow on me all as well, all right? And uh, this is a message uh, to the Israelite community, so to speak, all right? And I'm going to say this. A lot of you Israelites that uh, that's not teaching the mark of the beast, it's the micro C-hip, y'all going to take the mark of the beast. And you're going to end up being destroyed because you're not, um, it's because you're not teaching it, all right? You see? Because a great time, a great uh, hour is coming of, of, of being tempted, and if you're not uh, meditating on um, on, uh, on on denying the seat, the micro C hip, you're not. Uh, you're probably going to end up taking it, and if you don't take it, somebody in your congregation will. Like, I want to give all praises to the one true power, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the Most High God, and Yahweh Shai is to the world. Eagerly calls Jesus the Christ, the Makakwadash, the Holy Spirit, the Paleo Hebrew, the Bahamas to the elder apostles, the elder bishops, the elder prophets who rule well, and the Spirit teaching this word, to believe in this word, lowering that they can continue to adore and to be sincere. Talking about great millstone, the mighty Shalom uh, to the whole four legs, and the scattered four corners of the earth. Teaching this word and believing in this word, lowering the same Spirit, you can adore and be sincere. Shalom to the Aqua PM that are believers of this word, lowering. You will continue to pursue to be a loving, and silent, and virtuous wife. The Lord will and the most have mercy on the other brother and sister that's not in the faith. You know, I, I had to uh, slide uh, and do a lamey back on uh, Yermayan video because, <clears throat> you know, when brothers start walking together, brothers wasn't, you know, touching on prophecies uh, as much, right? Because we were a product of the leaders that we were under, you know, and brothers wasn't getting fed enough, you know, and so the Lord had other plans, what is it, uh, Psalms 48 verse 14, the Lord, the Lord will guide you, the Lord will be, be your guide until death, so the Lord uh, uh, guided us out of the wrong understanding, right? But outside of that, you know, like he said on the title, why you think Yahweh Shai said, watch and pray that you enter not into temptation, you know, and if I may, um, go into Revelations, the third chapter, in verse 10, it says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the, all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. This temptation is going to be mass, where it's going to draw you to taking the MOTV. You have different forms of temptation that a lot of our brothers and sisters fall under, right? But the greatest temptation is going to be the hour of temptation, and that's going to see who's really about Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, right? And if you chilling, you ain't got nothing to do, go look up Operation Paperclip, you know? It's this one particular video I was watching. It might be in my messenger, or it might be somewhere I got a hit, but there's a few videos you can find where even back then in Operation Paperclip, they was talking about digital control. You know, being able to watch over money, and watch over what people uh, 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 take in, you know, really world domination, you know, going into Revelation is the 13th chapter, right? Because first, let me read Revelation 19 and 10, because if we say, if we call ourselves prophets, elders, apostles, you should be getting into the prophecies of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai because the Lord puts you in a position to watch the state of his flocks, 
right? The state of your flock, but it, the flock is really Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. This is Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship God for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, right? That's the record, the proof, right? We go into these testimonies and the precepts, which we make it plain and clear upon tables, starting with the leadership on down, teaching the same thing, because the, the breakdown is right in front of you. There's no need. I don't need to teach nothing new. I don't need to find nothing new. You know, I have to believe in what is already being brought out. I have to believe in Yahweh Hashem Al Shai first and foremost to be guided through the two teachers that can give me the right understanding that I need, right? And the spirit is going to be upon you to be occupied in prophecies, either watching videos, which a lot of us do, always hearing brothers going into the prophecies, and the Lord will put a fire within you. Psalms 104 verse 4, if you are a minister in his ministry, and it will cause you to either land me or speak on it. Just like what I'm doing right now. Doesn't mean that I'm better than anybody, but it's gonna it's gonna hit something like, ooh, he's talking on a, a step closer on getting out of here. Right? Revelation 13, which a lot of us we don't need 50 precepts to go to verse 16. Revelation 13, verse 16. And he calls them all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in, or in their forehead, that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. We give too much fucking credit to Esau and these other nations. They can't be spiritual. So this can't be spiritual. It can't be sin when, when we look at Judas, the fifth chapter, they were causing us to err, right? But the nations really don't know the ways of the Lord, what makes him happy, what don't. But they know if they keep us in sin, they keep us away from serving our power, right? But outside of that, this mark says, buy or sell. So when has the nation used sin to make us buy? When has the nation, starting with Esau, made us buy and sell uh, with the spirit, right? Now that just made me think, wait, hold on. Let me, let me show you the mark first, right? We always got to go into words. That word for mark is karagma. Strong's G, 5480, karagma. Karagma. A stamp, an imprinted mark of the mark stamped on the forehead or right hand as a badge of the followers of the Antichrist. There's many Antichrists. But to be an Antichrist is to be anti Yahweh. <laughs> Right, and the top nation that is anti Yahawashai is Esau. Look what they just did in Paris, mocking Yahawashai's Last Supper. Right, a mark branded upon horses. Go do your research, go look up animals being marked. Go to the zoo. How, if animals is escaping the zoo, how the hell is they finding them again? Because they're putting a mark, they're putting a tracking device, right? Um. I had another thing, another notion. So it said buy that, that you might buy or sell, right? So let's go to Luke chapter 2, verse 1. In the KJV, it says, And it came to pass in those days that, that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made by Serenus, well, I mean, when Serenus was governor of, uh, of Syria, and all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. Right? All the way going down to 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 Yahawashai's father and mother. They was taxed. When Yahawashai got older, the superscripture was Caesar. Reward Caesar with Caesar. Reward uh the father, Yahweh. Uh uh reward Yahweh with his Yahweh's. And that's the elect. You know? But this is this is a natural text with the dollar. But now the Lord had given you a prophecy of a mark that will come. And it's going to be some that don't take it, and it's going to be some that do take it. And the ones that do take it will be destroyed. The ones that don't take it, they will be considered the witness of the Lord that went the distance, you know, that that put their they life down on the line. But 
really all the men of the Lord, regardless if they don't taste death by getting beheaded for not taking the MOTV and they endure to the end. Well, well, they did this whole thing all the way to the end for the election. You know, the first example is the men of the Lord teaching against uh, kingdoms and rulers. Jeremiah 28 and 8. And the, the, right now in the time where we get the major prophecy is the MOTV. You know, go look it up. Go look up Operation Paperclip. Um, it's really a lot of news articles on it. But let's just look at, at a few of them. This girl put what in her arm? I put a microchip in my arm and it's the... See, some people just naturally just doing it on their own will. Imagine controlling your phone with your mind. Elon Musk's Neuralink has done it. They've implanted a brain chip in a human for the first time using a robot surgeon this small. You know, uh, one of the elders went and, and did the homology of Neuralink. When you go all the way to the Gematria, which, you know, they created, you will go find that Neural link lines up with 666, right? I, I only got a short time, so I can only do so much because I'm at work. Hello. How are you? Good, you okay? It's not bad. Uh, 77 pound three pence, yeah? Yes, that's right, yes. Magic. Huh? Magic. Oh, magic. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no damn magic. And this is how they gonna catch people. Cause to them it's gonna look cool. Look at that. Okay. This is a quick video showing you how easy it is to microchip. All you do is get your little microchip thing, go like this, pull the skin up, put it in, make sure it's in, and push it in. With that, I'm gonna say all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Kaka, Gosh. Don't take the MOTV or that's your head.